everybody, it is I, Mr. Charlie Murray. It's still Sunday, and welcome back to the Sith Inquisitor, episode 25. I think we've only got about one, two, three more episodes before we finish the Sith Inquisitor. We're level 47, we're closing, cl closing in, but say close, uh, you know what I was going to say. We're closing in uh, to getting the legacy level done. And then of course we've got the Valiant, which is get to chapter 9. Uh, sorry, chapter eight. Really? Uh, but it says you've got to do the first nine. One, two, three, four. Oh, chapter nine is there for some strange reason. It's not supposed to be, but hey. Um, and also complete Shadow Reven, which I'll, again I'll do in my own time. We've already done that one, so that'll be the Valiant level. And then there'll be Champion, Eternal, Legendary, which I doubt I'll do, but I will try my best. Will try as hard as I can. I need to do the Gree Droid one because the Gree's here at the moment. I've already done the Rat Ghoul. Um, I need to do the Bounty stuff when Bounty Contract comes back. Uh, then if all that's part of the story anyway, that so let's let's research this right. So the Gree is here at the moment. So as long as I get the Sith Inquisitor done, well, I mean I could go to Ilum now really and start doing that, but I'm not gonna. That's already done. That's already done. Defeat 50 non-player opponents. I can do that because there's a mission to kill 50 anyway. Right. Defeat all go... Oh, great. That's a bunch of world bosses, which takes forever to get... Okay, not going to be doing that. Um, great. That's to do operation bosses. Not going to be doing that. Fantastic. Uh, complete the Eternal Championship of any character. I'll be able to do that, hopefully. All of these... Nope. Probably not going to do that. Starfighter... <laughs> Who does stab fighter anymore? But I'll try. Uh, two out of fifteen war zones. Okay, bounty. Yep. End of it all. Yep. Uh, reach level fifty, which is part of this. Mm, probably not really. Um, I, I mean, I could, it didn't take me long to get from one to five hundred and fifty for arms tech. It took me about an hour, an hour and a half. So what I could be doing? I could be watching something on TV and have that going on in the background. Yeah, so I just need to create four characters, and that's that's that one really. I got plenty of scour and scrap and whatnot. Dark five, possibly. Light five, possibly. Decrons, possibly. I've already got that one. I don't know what this Decron is, but I'll find it on a destin at some point. Defeat fifty enemies with HK fifty one. Done. So yeah. Okay. Uh, before we head down to. Korriban, though. Let's speak to our companions in one round. My lord, I'm glad you're here. I wanted to read you this letter I received. I've been writing to my parents. I haven't seen them since I was little. Dear Ashara, we're glad to hear you're happy and well. We're very proud that you've become a Jedi. Asha is nearly 16 and plans to join Republic Special Forces. Love mom and dad. I haven't gotten around to telling them that I'm working with a Sith. I'm not sure they'd understand. Wait, so they named one of their children Asha, and then another one of their children Ashara. Right. You really ought to tell them. You think so? We only just started writing, and it's been 15 years since I last saw them. I guess you're right. That's gonna go down so well. We'll see what happens there later on down the line. Talos. My lord. I think we make an excellent team. Truly, Destiny herself has conspired to bring us together. Your help has been extremely valuable. Oh, thank you, my lord. I've learned so much at your side. My archaeologist instincts are honed to a razor's edge, or a pick's point, as the case may be. G cool. Th thanks, Talos. I appreciate it. I was going to choose. Are you flirting with me? But I don't think I'd want that, considering I, you know, I don't want him to have ideas, to be honest. But I My master, master, the witch is quiet, but I'm uneasy. She's scheming something, I think. Like the vision of two like hordes remains, she sent to lure me into her trap. Her silence is a lie. If she can put visions in your mind, can't you see what she's thinking? The lady hides from me, I pursue, and she places snares in my path. If I could just sink my teeth into her, she would not escape my grasp. Master, I require your help. I need to know what she's planning. Let me talk to her. Perhaps I can learn something. 
Yes, my master, but no tricks, or you will both die the first chance I get. I thought he'd never relent. He's been unusually stubborn lately. I can barely get a word in edgewise. I can't wait for him to be gone for good. Then we both may be in luck. It's clear the two of us can't share this body for much longer. One of us must win, and I don't intend to lose. But I need your help. If it'll shut Cam up, I'm all for it. I'm You've pretending, always by the way. been so helpful. I believe I can replicate Tulak Hall's ritual without the help of the artifact. It won't be an exact copy, and whoever gets cast out will die. When the time comes, I'll need you to convince Kemval to go quietly. It will be my pleasure. Excellent. I'll let you know when I know more. Which she plans to drive me away with the ritual. I'll have her throat. Thank you, Master, for showing me her schemes. If you will excuse me, I must prepare for my resistance. Ooh, it's getting good now. It's getting interesting now. I wonder if I get to level 48 by speaking to Andronicos. Eh, we'll find out. Can I marry you yet? <laughs> Guess that's off the table. I've got him. Reich, the SIS agent who betrayed me. He said dead man. My old girl Casey intercepted an encrypted message. He's moving on Trandosha of all places as we speak. I've got a fly or I'll lose him. It's not as if I can stop you. This is the last bit of business tying me to my Republic days. This is the last time I'll run, I promise. Reich's dead. Was dead before I got to him. Lucky jerk. Turns out I wasn't the only enemy he made selling secrets. Imperial intelligence sniper got him. Guess he was playing both sides. It sounds like he had it coming. I only wish I could have gotten an explanation. But I guess he was just rotten all around. I'm done running off. You and Casey are the only friends I got. Friend? And, well, you're the only one with the ship. You're not so bad yourself. Eh, I just point and shoot. But I'm happy to be along if you'll have me. That better not be it. Of me and you. We're in a relationship, me and you. Yes, we are. We're supposed to be, but you're not making it clear. Sometimes we are, sometimes we're not. What are we in? Are we in a relationship or are we not? You're confusing me, Andronicos. So, Harkin. Who do I get? Do I get the human or the Kalish? I was forgetting what the race was then. I hope it's the Kalish. Even though I already know the answer, but I hope it's the Kalish. My lord, you are just in time. Wait, hold on. Hold on. Yep, come on. Do your thing. Freeze. Yeah, well done. Thank you. Come on, hurry up. Uh, uh, there we go. Sorry, that had to get out of the way. My lord, you are just in time. The acolytes should be returning shortly. There's something vaguely unsettling about Boneface. He's hardly said a word, but he's got a determined glint in his eye. Reminds me of you. Overseer, I return with the carving, as you requested. Ah, there you are. My lord, it looks as if we were both wrong. May I present to you your apprentice? Oh. <clears throat> Oh wait, you're not human, are you? God. Why did I think you were human? You're not human. You're Twi'lek. Oh well, whatever. I'm not going to have to wait for another trial, am I? There was only one carving. I'm interested in what Boneface here hopes to prove. Zalek. Hmm? My name is Zalek. Uh, oh. Your carving, my lord. Excellent. Slave scum. Did you not listen to the rules of this academy? You do not murder another acolyte, and in the presence of witnesses. 
I'm sorry, my lord. It seems I've failed to teach this miserable dog a single lesson. I will let you know when a new shipment of slaves arrives. It's all right, Harkon. I like his style. He murdered an acolyte in the Academy walls in the presence of an overseer and a lord of the Sith. To top it off, he's a slave. Sith tradition demands he be executed. Do not make me remind you the cost of disobedience. No, my lord. But Thanaton will hear of this. Will he now? My lord. I think you'll fit in well with my crew. Hmm. And we have our last companion, Zalek. Exciting times. I don't know why I thought the Twi'lek was human. It's my mind. My mind is just a mess. I think it's like Andronicos. You're 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 just a you're a Selkath, aren't you? Yeah, I think you're a Selkath. Mm -hmm. uh, my character. Well, it's obviously a Zabrak. Come on now, God. Can I not welcome you to my ship? As you command. Oh, you got nothing to say to me. As you command. Oh, okay. Screw you then. Hello. My lord, Moff Valiant Pyron, I am satisfied to report that the silencer is complete. But we have limited time to test it before Thanaton intervenes. The prototype is mounted aboard the Imperial Starship Doombringer. Is that where I've got to go Leave next? There. Ah. I have already invited the Moffs I feel would be most favorable to your cause. It falls to you to do the persuading. I still have some business to settle, but I'll be there shortly. Of course, my lord. I will complete the preparations. I shall see you aboard the Doombringer. Okay, travel to the Doombringer. Right, so I'm just trying to figure out these episodes for this week. So, this is the episode 25, so this must be Friday's episode. I think. Yes. So, we'll do the Doombringer. Yeah, we'll do the Doombringer in this episode. Uh, then we'll talk to some companions a little bit more. Where's the Doombringer? Where is it? Doombringer! There you are. Yeah, so we'll talk to our companions a little bit more. And then the next episode will be about Corellia. And then the final episode on Sunday. I say the final episode, it won't really be the final episode. Um, and the episode on Sunday will be... Um, Finishing off this chapter, yes, finish, uh, my mind went blank then, um, and then episode 28, ages and ages and ages away, or maybe episode 28 and 29 could be companion stuff, maybe, I don't know, sort of split the mental two, and then episode 30 could be the opening of the packs, yay, um, but yes, anyway, I'm just trying to plan this ahead, because like I said, I want this to be 30 episodes somehow. Um, I'm the sort of person that just likes to make everything look neat and tidy on my channel. It's like, with my Sith Warrior, that only has, I think, 32 episodes for Season 4? Is it 32? Is it 30? Is it 30? No. It's 30 something, if I remember right there. I might be wrong, it might even be 20 something. But I, you know, I wanted it to be like 50. I wanted it to be a rounded number, but I never really got to that point, and it bothers me to this day. Um, but hey, I have to live with it now. So yeah, that's the sort of person yeah. I'm at. Everything has to be neat and tidy and well thought out. Uh, so, <laughs> welcome to my mind. It's a lovely place. Would you like a cup of tea? The Doombringer. The command deck. Moth Pyron. Hello. Why do I get the feeling... No, let me talk a minute. Why do I get the feeling these moths are going to see the power? They're going to be like, <gasps> No, you should not be using this power. It just seems like the sort of people who's going to think that. Ah, there she is. This, my fellows, is the future of the Sith Order, who will lead the Empire into a new moment. What is a no-name Sith Lord going to do against a Dark Council member? Thanaton will have our heads. Thanaton grows more insufferable every day. Our ancient and mystical Sith traditions will win wars, he says. Not generals with training. Moff Pyron, if you please. Yes, let's quiet down. The Sith is not here to listen to your bickering.
We're here today to demonstrate Whoa. a new weapon, codename right. Silencer. You boys may have heard of it. What are you drinking, Pyron? Thanos unkilled the Silencer project. We rebuilt it. Soon you will see an entire Republic fleet disappear, thanks to the Silencer and the tireless efforts of the Empire's champion. My lord. Moths, generals. Today you will see who holds the real power in the Sith Empire. Not the Dark Council, not Thanaton, me. When I finish my ascent, all will bow or face my might. Isaac, prepare the silencer to fire. Moff Pyron, my lord, we're receiving an Imperial signal. Uh-oh. Doombringer, Darth Achalon of the Carnage requests your aid in fighting the Republic fleet. Repeat, the Carnage needs your aid. Who is this Darth Achalon? Darth Ashalon is one of Thanaton's cronies. Let him get blasted. You would knowingly destroy an Imperial vessel. You propose treason, Graham. The fleet will tear him to shreds anyhow. If we go in there, that'll be two Imperial vessels destroyed. My lord? Ah. Uh... If Ashalon wants help, he'll get it. Not that it'll do him any good. Use the weapon. Yes, my lord. Here we go. So it's basically a Death Star. Amazing. I can't believe my eyes. I agree. You've made quite the impression, my lord. Consider us interested in an alliance of sorts. Moff Pyron, see that each of these men gets a silencer for his capital ship. I expect this will be a quite fruitful relationship. Of course, my lord. Come, gentlemen. We have much to discuss. Lovely. Oh, the music sort of playing up. Cool. Um. Wow. Look at that. Isn't that beautiful? And now, anybody's on there will uh, anybody that's still alive on there somehow will uh, slowly suffocate in the next hour. I'd say. I'd say slowly lose oxygen. Mhm. Mm so um, have fun. I'm a dark person sometimes. Question: Why did I need an Imperial Medical Service droid? on the ship. I wasn't going to get attacked. Or maybe, depending on what my choices were, I was going to get attacked. Hello? You have remarkable energy. I do. Who knew the Silencer Project could be such a resounding success? I know. But capital ships are not trivial resources. You didn't call just to chide me. Always suspicious. This ends now. I declare a Kagath. A contest of mutual annihilation, pitting power base against power base. Whoever sheds the most blood wins. To the victor, eternal glory. To the loser, death and shame. May the best Sith win. May the best Sith win. Corellia is the arena. The Kagath begins when you land. Forfeit and be disgraced. Pounded to the ends of the galaxy by every Sith in the Empire. My lord, that was an open channel. Thanaton broadcast the whole thing. Oh. He wants everyone watching the Kagath as it unfolds. He is well entrenched on Corellia, but the Empire's fighting a significant battle there. The chaos could be an advantage. With your permission, I'll transfer to Corellia so that the fleet can provide you support. I won't turn down the help, but I don't require it. Yes, my lord. I will try to learn of any weaknesses in Thanaton's power base. Okay. We'll be traveling to Corellia. Oh, now we can welcome Zalek. Lord, 
I look forward to training with you. Welcome aboard, Apprentice. This ship is your home. These roustabouts, your companions. Yes, Lord. Um... At least you don't waste words. You are a great warrior. I will follow you to death. Mine or yours? Whoever is weakest. That is the Sith way. Good thinking. I like you. I'm going to enjoy working with you. Command me, and I will strike, my lord. Why do I get the feeling he doesn't think much in his mind? Just not much goes on in his mind. Um, Andro oh, I can speak to Andronicos. Please tell me our relationship is still, still a thing. Come on. So, are we getting married or what? Finally, good. I love how it's been all, oh, yeah, we're, we're not clear if we're in a relationship or not. And now it's just all, let's hug each other. Um... Do you have a ring? <laughs> as long as you don't ask where I got it. Hurry up and marry me before I change my mind. Deal. Uh... Might as well get married before the whole Corellia thing. <laughs> I know you don't want me turning uh, I, I gotta say it. You are beautiful. Oh, God! The position they were just in just then! Are you saying you love me? Yeah. Uh, I guess I am. Wow. Okay. Easy. Okay. Is that it with you and Jonikos? We're married, we're done. I guess we are. We're married. Hooray. Cool. Cruel nemesis, torment me no further. I surrender. I'm not worthy of finding Orcelio Gan. He was depending on me, and I failed. Don't give up so easily. We can crack this. My lord, I would welcome your expertise. I've tried everything. I've even gone back to the medallion to see if my mentor left me any other clue. If the Imperial Reclamation Service knew how many codes I violated trying to decipher this medallion, they'd have me stripped of my rank. Don't worry, I won't report you. Thank you, my lord. I suppose I will just have to let it rest. Perhaps when my mind is fresh, I can evaluate the situation from a new angle. Wait, why didn't I see this before? The medallion came with a chain. It wasn't the original, so I thought it wasn't important. How wrong I was. Best of luck finding your mentor. Thank you, my lord. If you'll excuse me, I must examine the chain more closely. I'm confident it's the key to finding him. Now I'm just thinking, do I do more stuff with uh, the companions now, or do I wait later on? Ah, uh, screw it. I've been thinking more about what Master Simon said. And I think he was wrong. Simon said. <laughs> Are you still worried about what that worthless Jedi said? About me being a Jedi? No. He believed we were wrong and that you were leading me astray, but he did nothing. Of course he didn't. He was weak. He knew he couldn't do anything. That's exactly what I mean. The Jedi's refusal to do what's necessary to fight, it makes them weak. The Jedi will never beat the Empire if they won't take the offensive. And they'll never win peace, either, if the Empire can't respect them. Peace is a noble goal, but it's not a means to an end. So you're saying, peace is a lie? When it comes to making real change? Yes. I guess I am. A war rages and Master Simon meditates in his clearing. Personal peace is one thing, but apathy? Inaction? These things are unacceptable. Really? How, how, how fun. How good. I guess. Anyone else we need to speak to? There's Treak. Um, HK, which we've not speak to as we've already established. Shut up, 2V. Um, it's just Ashara now then. Fine. I have a question for you, but you must promise not to mock me. Okay, but... 
I hope this isn't another of your philosophical quandaries. No, it's not that at all. I've never actually played Sabak, or Pezak, or any of those kinds of games. I was wondering if you'd teach me. It would be my pleasure. Thank you. Ah. That was a lot of fun. I can't believe I've never played those games before. Okay. Cool. My lord, I have incredible news. <gasps> a group of Jedi have split from the Jedi Order. This is the perfect opportunity for us to win allies. Divide and conquer. I like it. Yes. I guess you could put it that way. Now these guys aren't like Master Simon, but I think that actually gives us a chance. They're hardliners, very anti-Sith, but their argument with the Jedi is over methods, not aims. Unlike Master Simon, they say they are willing to do whatever is necessary. It sounds like they'd be even less likely to support us. They are Jedi. They want peace. We have to at least try to make our case. It's not gonna happen, but hey, you give it a shot. I'm going Shara. to meet with them. I promise I won't be long. I'll see you in an hour when you're angry. My lord, thank you. We have new allies in the rogue Jedi. Oh, it worked. But I couldn't have done it without your training. I was sure this would fail, like the last time you tried to get a Jedi on our side. They were skeptical at first. Like Master Simon, they would not accept me as a Jedi. But this time I knew what to say. You help me understand. Sith and Jedi is an arbitrary divide. I don't know what I am, and I don't care. I told them the Jedi need to be willing to do whatever it takes, even ally with a Sith to bring peace to the galaxy. You've learned a lot, Apprentice. Not all the Jedi were won over, of course. Their leader, Master Quintus, said that he would be unwise to turn his back on such conviction and determination. Thank you for letting me meet with them, my lord. Is that the end of your story? I'm not sure. It looks like it is, though. Yes! That's the end of the story. Okay. Um, well, is it? I don't know. It's the end of the moment. I've talked to all of them at this moment in time. Um, I know there's a lot to come with Zalek, but Zalek doesn't talk much, so he doesn't really count. Uh, I could probably do his story in like 10 minutes once they're all available, probably. Let's head our way to Corellia, which is the final planet. Um, we'll see what happens at the intercom, and then we'll leave it here for now. Exciting stuff. Hi, guys. Thanaton has challenged me to an ancient duel called the Kagath on the surface of Corellia. I've accepted. Tulak Hord fought a Kagath against a survival for 15 years, a feast of souls, and never lacked for force. When it was over, he commanded that his dead rival's name would never be spoken again. Such is the disgrace of failure, the glory of victory. And I shall do my best to win. Corellia is a small staging ground. Thanaton is a foolish little Sith. You will crush him. Corellia is all out war right now. Imperial held, Republic challenged, and loads of resistance. Sounds to me like Thanaton's trying to beat you and the Republic at the same time. Murder and mayhem await. There's the Sith Lord I signed up with. Crazy as a monkey lizard. Break him down, steal his glory, and then devour him. Moff Pyron said he'd be waiting surface side. Not my favorite guy, but you need all the allies you can get. Don't worry, Cam. I plan to do just that. When this black screen disappears. Lovely. So anyway, we'll leave it here for now. This is probably not as long as last episode. But hey, we're heading to Corellia. So thank you very much for watching. Ladies and gentlemen, we're near the end. And I shall see you next time. Any farewell to you.